Greetings, dear viewers. Here we have Overwatch. The Overwatch beta weekend is currently going on. They're doing a stress test, I believe, what they said they were doing on their servers for the next couple of days, and I got an email from Blizzard saying that I can play the beta. So, I have been mildly interested in this game. Not really hyped or anything about it, but, as I said, mildly interested in this game. So let's try out the tutorial and see what this is all about. Tip. The tutorial is a brief introduction to the basics of Overwatch. You don't say. Why are you facing away from the door? Hello, Soldier 76. I am Athena. I will be guiding you through the Overwatch training program. Now, where is she? Wait for me! Ah, the infamous Tracer. Hiya! Tracer here! Let's get started. Please use your controls to look at Tracer as she moves around the room. Over here! Excellent. Now watch Tracer run to the center of the room. Here I am! Let's go over the basics of movement. You can move forwards and backwards in the direction you're looking. You can also move left and right. Give it a try. Wow, this is a tutorial for people who have never touched an FPS, huh? Follow Tracer as she moves around the hangar. I'm on it. Continue following Tracer. Again, I'm on it. Wow. Keep following Tracer. She's cheating. Excellent. Jump up onto the ledge and go through the blast door. On it. Bye. Welcome. <laughs> Please proceed to the highlighted area. Let me walk you through the basics of combat. Your portrait is displayed in the lower left corner of your screen. That's you, Soldier 76. Next to it is your current health. If it reaches zero, you die. Your primary weapon is your heavy pulse rifle. I'll get you something to shoot at. Sounds good. Move the crosshairs in the middle of your screen. Move them over the training bot, then fire. Tip. Press left click to fire. Nicely done. You can also strike a target near you with a melee attack. Move next to the training bot. Aim. Move the melee attack. Enemies in the field may be a little harder to hit than it. Let me get you something a little more challenging to shoot at. Enemies like these robots are marked with a red outline. Nice shooting. Damaging an enemy causes their current health to display I want to see if these are hit scan Most weapons. Weapons fire a limited amount of ammo before they need to be reloaded. Your current ammo is displayed here in the bottom right of the screen. If you run out of ammo, you will automatically reload. Or you can manually reload at any time. It seems that they are hit scan weapons. I'm gonna fire just in front of this training bot as they move. Destroy the training bots to continue. Yeah, that's like right in front of them. Let's try this one, it's further away. Maybe that'll give me a more accurate representation. Yeah, these are hit scan. There's one bot. Great work. That covers the basics of your weapon. Next, we'll go over your abilities. We'll begin with sprint. Please go to the highlighted area in the center of the room. In addition to sprint, you also have the ability to heal yourself with biotic field. To demonstrate it, I need to damage you slightly. <coughs> now, deploy a biotic field. You will heal while you're within the glowing area. Note that you will have to wait a short time before using that ability again. This cooldown time is displayed over the ability icon. Your rifle is also equipped with helix rockets. You can launch a volley of rockets in the direction you're aiming. When the rockets explode, they also damage nearby enemies. Try it out on the targets. 
Fire your helix rockets at the targets. It's quite the blast Fine. radius. Let me explain, Tactical Visor, your ultimate ability. These powerful abilities can change the course of a game. But you must fully charge it before using it. Your current charge level is displayed here, at the bottom of your screen. Charge your tactical visor by damaging the training bots. Your ultimate is 50% charged. Your ultimate is almost fully charged. Your tactical visor is charged. The tactical visor optimizes your shots so they do not miss. Now, activate your tactical visor and destroy the training bots. Yeah, as if hit scan weapons weren't enough, I get an ability that makes certain I don't miss? I've got you in my sights. Let's, let's intentionally aim away from him. Resistance <laughs> neutralized. Let's go. I'll refresh tactical visor so you can destroy the rest of the training bots. I've got you in my sights. Sweet. destroyed. Nice work, Soldier 76. For the final phase of the training program, I'll show you how to capture an objective. Your current objective is indicated with the directional marker labeled A. The objective is marked with a bright outline on the ground. To capture it, move inside the area. While you are within the area, you make progress towards capturing the objective. Your current progress is displayed here on your screen. If there are enemies in the area, capture progress is paused. You have successfully captured the objective. You can now try a practice game versus AI. Replay the tutorial for a face-off against other players. Cool. Alright, man. Well, we've got a little bit of experience as, uh... Soldier 76, so let's play a practice rain practice versus AI game. And play as Soldier 76. Look out for enemies trying to flank you from behind or above. Yeah. Watch your angles, man. Prepare your defenses. Ah, let's see. I want to play this duder. Join the team voice chat. Push tilde to talk. Four players in channel. Press P to access channels. I don't want there to be voice chat. Anyway, I'm locked in as Soldier 76 here. We've got a few others picking their soldiers. I'd like to go to options. Can I hit escape? Yes, I can. And turn off voice. Can I do that? Sound? In-game in voice? No. Voice chat. Group voice chat. Off. All right, so off we go. We've got to go defend point P. Forty seconds. Prepare your defenses. It says up at the top of the screen there. So off we go. Ooh. So we're up against AI right now. So we don't... Incoming in thirty seconds. And we got a lot of time to wait. Okay, so we gotta defend this. Wait, do we have to defend two points? Is that the deal? Alright, so this thing apparently is going to be moving in this direction, as we can tell by our blue line there. It's gonna be moving off this way, probably. Uh, that looks like where the enemy might spawn, so let's be careful there. The enemy team there. Dude, this guy's set. Alright, let's run and gun. Stop the payload. Got some hit points in here. We got a health power up. Okay. Well, I, was, I thought I'd go check our flanks, but it appears there's nothing to check over there. Looks like there's some high ground off in this direction. I do love me my high ground. And I fall right down. This feels kind of like Planet Side One. I don't know why. I think this just feels like the Goss rifle from Planet Side One. This weapon. Where are they? Locked. They're gonna spawn out of here, right? Yep. Ah! Come and get me, suckers. Stop. 
Stun, 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 but I'm healing with my own ability there. I don't think I want to be screwing with Bastion, right? He's like a tank type. Dude, I stood up against like their whole team in here by using my healing ability. This is way too easy. I should play against players. Yeah, this is way too easy. Let's go play against actual players. Quick play, jump into a game against other players of your skill level. Sure, let's hit it. And yeah, I'll be jumping in as Soldier 76. I'll try out all of the other... Uh, I'll try out the other... Heroes or whatever they're called in this game, the other champs, the other heroes. Uh, at some other point, but because the tutorial showed us Soldier 76, we're gonna stick with that. All right, assemble your team. 25 seconds. Yeah, no, that AI thing was really was really really easy. <laughs> I was just basically spawn camping them, and I was able to stand up to essentially the whole AI team just by camping one of the health power-ups and using Soldier 76's AoE heal ability. And I didn't even really have to have good accuracy or anything about it, so that's a little too easy. I want to play an actual game to see what this is all about. We're all soldiers now. Prepare to attack. So what game mode is this? What game mode is this? We've got to attack and capture an objective. Looks like there's just a single objective for us to capture. Can I press M for map? No, I'd like to be able to see the map, but whatever. I guess we're just going to go explore it. I like the default field of view. The default field of view feels pretty good already. I don't have to do any adjusting of that. That feels pretty nice. Alright, I'm going to follow this fizzy elf guy and give him some backup fire. That's going to be my objective here. Because he's going to be taking the shots, I'll be dealing the damage, and I can probably heal him with my AoE. So I think supporting a tank type character is sort of what this soldier hero is going to be really good at. Okay, apparently we're going to be taking this over. Okay, let's pull back here. Let's drop our healing AoE on this area. Okay, not bad, not bad. Getting a flank off here. I was able to flank their tank. Let's pull out, pull out over here. Let's drop the heal. Let's uh, make sure we don't have anybody airborne hitting us. Alright, objective captured. Objective captured, I like that. I like that. We're this is pretty good stuff. Ow, that guy's that guy's got some serious damage on him. Let's go ahead and heal up while in recover here. Let's not get flanked. Let's watch our let's watch our angles. Um let's see if anybody's gonna be heading up from Yeah, this way. There we go, got some damage off from this cool gun of mine. There we go, some more support fire from the point. I'm going to drop a healing circle right here, or a healing AoE right here. Okay, let's watch carefully as the uh, opposing team might make an approach over here. Watching all the angles, there's one. Now, as, as the soldier type, I feel like I can use my healing ability to kind of makeshift tank. Pull back to the objective here. Um, is there an objective B? Is there an objective A? I'm a little confused about what we're supposed to do. I'm just going to defend this one point because apparently that's what we need to do. Incoming. Boom! I think that was a direct hit with those rockets. All right, they're going to rush in as a big team here. I'm going to drop my healing AOE. All right, I was able to take out one of their backliners over there. I'm going to keep shooting past their tanks. Keep trying to hit those backliners. Um, I can actually probably at this point, because we're so far ahead, we can probably push an offensive. I'm gonna make a, make a move over here. And come play with their tracer who has to, who had to, escape, who had to uh, escape there. Evade. 
Ow. Alright, pulling back, dropping a healing AoE right here. Nice. There we go. So we took the first round. That's pretty good. I feel like our team is pretty good at supporting one another, so I, I'm, I'm liking this. This is pretty cool. Change hero? No, I, I won't change hero here because uh, I want to win this match, and I feel good with uh, Soldier 76. I like I like his very balanced kit. It's very good stuff. I can uh, off tank. I can support tanks. I can take out uh, backliners. I can push an offensive. I can take cover with Soldier 76. It's pretty cool. Okay. Alright, where, where, where's our tank? Where's our tank? Oh, somebody gave us a move speed buff. Alright, so we, we apparently don't have a tank this time around. We don't have a tank type. Uh, the objective is down there. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Alright, I don't feel like it's safe to go rush out into that open area. The previous objective was in a covered space. That is a very open area, so right now I think my objective is going to be to pop down a, uh, a healing AoE at this point, and that guy's going to come out about right now. Boom! I think I hit him. I think he's taking a ton of damage. We need to charge him. We need to charge him. We need to charge him because he took a lot of damage. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Looks like we have got point C. We can defend this here now. See, this is a big open area. It's not very easy to defend if we just stand on top of it. So it's best to just take it. Oh, wow. All right, I'm not going to panic. I'm going to drop my AoE. Even though I'm out in the open, I'm going to keep my healing uh, aura down here and let it do its thing. Um, I think I need to set up a flank somewhere. Off this direction. Here we go. There's somebody right there. Let's see if we can get some rockets off. There we go. Dealt a lot of damage. Let's get away. I know there's somebody shooting at me from my left side there. At least it felt like it. Alright, what's this guy doing? He's healing up a lot. Um, I'm gonna go watch point C. I'm not sure if there's anybody on it. Alright, we got we got friendlies there. We got friendlies there. Uh, apparently I can't fire more rockets. Just reloaded. Wow, there's a lot going on right now. We got a lot more targets off in this direction. Looks like they're trying to circle around the area. Um, there's somebody. Boom! Direct hit with those rockets. I dealt damage to multiple targets. I was able to take one of them out, drop my healing AoE behind me. Okay, uh, I don't need to retreat to it. I don't need to retreat to it. I can pull back over here. Alright. Alright, got that guy with a melee hit. That was pretty cool. I don't really like my melee hit being on V. I'd prefer it to be on my middle click uh, for my mouse. That's where my melee hit usually goes. I'm going to kind of duck in cover over here. See if I can change that. Controls, uh, controller, reticle movement, weapons, melee, melee, melee. Quick melee, can I do this? There we go. Back, back. There we go. Alright, moving forward, moving forward. Uh, where is our objective? Objective C is right there. Is it still ours? Yes, it is, and it's under no contestation by the opposing team. Eliminated Jaffa there. I got eight points for that apparently. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my AOE real quick. Take out a target. Five player kill streak. Sounds good. Feels good. Feels good, man. Feels good. Okay. Let's keep moving this way. We're gonna put an AOE down right here, I think. Oh wait, no, did we just win? Hey, achievement unlocked. Victory. Good job. Alright, man. Actually this is a whole lot of fun. But this is where I will bring the video down because I want to make this just a quick little look. Play of the game as Soldier 76. Shut down. Wait, who was that? It probably wasn't me, right? I think that was me. <laughs> I don't remember. Was that me? <laughs> it looks like me. No, the player's name was Engage. It looked like me because it was just Soldier 76. I mean, I got that same... I feel like I got that same Jappa kill or something close to it anyway. Uh, let's see. Is there something I need to press here? Uh, oh, commend? Oh, man! You can commend other players. I didn't get to do that. 13 eliminations, 2 objective kills, 18 seconds on objective time, 2190 damage done, increased healing done, or sorry, uh, 1199 healing done. So, pretty good stat screen right there. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I think it might just roll us right into the next match. I might have to opt out of the next game. Yeah, I think I have to opt out of this game. Let's go ahead and leave game. Game, are you sure? It says, open your loot box. What is that? Loot box. You have one loot box. Oh, looks like we got a loot box here. Let's open it up. Let's see what we get. Whoa, that's pretty spectacular. Uh, select and unlock to preview. Preview, spray, preview, spray. What is this? Oh, it's a cool little revolver. Let's see this tracer thing. Oh, they're all sprays. Preview, player coin. I kind of like all that stuff. 
Can I equip it? I don't know what that did. <laughs> but that's something I'm going to have to figure out later. Because I just wanted this to be a quick look at the gameplay of Overwatch. Obviously, there's things uh, that surround the gameplay of Overwatch, such as, you know, these these loot boxes and the stats and the little intricacies of how matchmaking works and what you do to go between stuff and the controls and uh, between games and how to set up your, set up your controls and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted this to be a quick look at the gameplay of Overwatch, so I hope this video has succeeded in doing that for you, dear viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you folks next time.